Stretched ka ba? Are you stressed? This episode is for you. Welcome to What's Up Doc? With me, Dr. Dider Lubaton and uh, your prescription for a healthy and happy life. And I want to talk about this big word, stress. You know, stress is a big factor to your health and it does a lot of things to you. But let me clarify first that stress is actually good for you. Let me give you an example. If you do not stress your brain and if you do not put it into some form of training, a little stress could be useful for you because you'll be sharp in your thinking. You're going to learn skills. Pag hindi mo stress yung katawan mo, it will not build the muscles. It will not uh, make the bones stronger. Alam mo, pag sa relationships may konting stress, it actually makes you better together and it actually gives you more reason to go deeper in relationship with each other. Stress is actually good. But what happens when you get sick? Is it too much stress? Is it lack of stress? It could be both. And what I'm, ta- I'm telling you now is I want you to look at your health not trying to avoid stress but there's a certain type of stress that is so difficult to handle and i'm talking about toxic stress toxic stress is the root of all illnesses and that's what i believe in toxic stress in the physical level on the emotional level on the spiritual level in all areas of, our, of your life even sa pera pag toxic sa pera masakit sa ulo di ba so this is what we're trying to avoid or what we're trying to counter when we get sick. This is the main reason why you get sick. And uh, I believe that toxic stress has to, uh, I classify it into two ways, okay? The first one, the first toxic stress is toxicity. Toxicity meaning there is something in your body and in your being that is not supposed to be there. Sobra, malina, napakarami masyado. At uh, for example, toxic food intake, right? If you're not eating good food. Toxic environment, your exposure to chemicals, your exposure to things that are not good for your body. Toxic people around you, toxic relationships toxic financial statement or toxic financial habits those are very bad things that could hurt your wholeness of health pag may sobra mali na yan another type of toxic stress is deficiency deficiency means kulang there is something that is supposed to be there in your body and your being pero kulang and that makes you sick deficient nutrients deficient water deficient love deficient trust deficient support from the people around you deficient in stimulating your brain and your being pag may kulang o walang wala sa sistema ng tao sa katawan mo that makes you sick so again just to recap toxic stress could be divided into two ways toxicity and deficiency. Ikaw, anong kulang sa'yo, anong sobra sa'yo? Because, pag nawala ang balance dyan, you get sick. So, how do we heal them? Ang question is, oh, sige doc, alam ko na na may toxicity sa buhay ko, alam ko na na may deficiency sa buhay ko, anong pwede kong gawin? So, let me do it one by one. If there's toxicity in your life, very simple. How do you heal toxicity? Well, you detoxify. <laughs> Tanggalin yung mga toxins sa katawan mo, sa being mo, sa relationships mo. And uh, there's so much things I want to share this to you. Maybe in the coming episodes, I'm going to share how you could detoxify further. Pero naniniwala ko, your body has the capability to detoxify in your sweat, in your... Uh, urination there's so much more in your breathing and even in your elimination through your through your uh, uh, pooping so it's part of the natural detoxifying agents or processes of the body and uh, if we increase the rate of the detoxification of your body then you will go better in your health okay you'll be healthier when you do av- when you detoxify and avoid toxins okay
So how do you heal the deficiency? Of course, pag may deficient o may kulang sa katawan mo, you nourish. Kailangan mo dagdagan. That's why if you're deficient with nutrients, you gotta get good food. Ni mo napansin, pag bad ang food habits mo, you're always hungry. Kakakain mo lang. Gutom ka na naman. Because your body's talking to you, you need nourishment. You eat not just to get full, you eat because you want to get nourished. What I'm talking about also in terms of deficiency, on the energy level, minsan deficient tayo sa love, def- deficient tayo sa support. You know, psychologists would say that a person would need four hugs a day to survive and 12 hugs a day to thrive. And isa yon, kulang tayo ng human interaction, meaningful human interaction with each other. That's why we also get sick emotionally, spiritually, mentally, and uh, those are general things that I want to share to you now why you get sick. If you avoid the stress, toxic stress, divided into toxicity, and deficiency you can heal them both I am talking to you about the way you think today now when you get sick ang una mong hanapin is ano bang kulang sa akin what is toxic to me in my body in my being o baka meron akong deficiency may cool pwede na may deficiency may kulang or or I need to have more supplements or I need to get more of these things in my body in my being because once you are aware that you are stressed you can do something about it means an obvious na obvious na ang stress mo you are not just recognizing it that's why you continue to become sick kanina well before I shot this video I went uh, to a patient of mine and uh, she uh, I visited her in her house uh, she is a cancer patient and uh, Nahirapan na siya. She's in pain. She has difficulty in walking. And uh, nahirapan na rin siyang kumain a bit. There are all a lot, uh, there are a lot of reasons why uh, she could be stressed out. But I am amazed when I talked to her earlier and, and she said to me, Alam mo, Dr. Didoy, I feel so blessed. Ang bait-bait ni Lord sa akin. And I was amazed. And I asked her why, and and then she would say, "Hindi ako pinapabayaan ng Dios. Even in my suffering, I am one with God's suffering. I'm one with those people who are suffering and who are sick, and I get to pray for them. At meron pa akong silbe na na, 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 na na I still get to serve God in my prayers. Amazing, amazing. Instead of feeling so stressed, she chose to feel blessed." Two choices, my dear friends, when you handle your stress. You can choose to feel so stressed about it, or you can count your blessings and be filled with so much blessings and feel so blessed. And I do hope and pray that you get your mind and your body and your being into knowing your stresses, identifying your stresses, and doing something about it. In the further episodes of my videos, I'm going to show you more details and more practical examples on how we could apply the, these principles of combating stress so that you could heal your illnesses and disease. I do hope you could look forward to it and support my video shows. And uh, this is again Dr. Dider Lubaton for What's Up Doc, your prescription to be healthy and happy. I will see you again. God bless you.